Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from EngineerInTrainingExam.com. And in this video, we're going to review matrix algebra, specifically defining a matrix and the addition and subtraction of matrices. Matrix algebra provides us two distinct benefits. Number one, it allows us a compact notation for describing sets of data and sets of equations. And number two, it allows us an efficient method for manipulating sets of data and solving sets of equations. So let's start by defining a matrix. A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers arranged in a series of rows and columns. So graphically, a matrix is a series of rows and array of numbers uh, laid out in a series of rows and columns. So we may see something like this. This is a matrix. The lines running from left to right are the rows. Lines running vertically are the columns. So the number of rows and columns in a matrix is known as its order. The number of rows and columns is known as the order. Or also you may have heard it as the dimension. Conventionally speaking, rows are listed first followed by columns. So we would say that the order or dimension of this matrix is a 3 by 4 because there's 3 rows and 4 columns. The numbers that are defined in the matrix are called the elements. So all these numbers are elements within the matrix. Now common symbols are used to generally identify matrix elements and matrices. There are a number of ways you may see matrices identified, but the most simple is a bold uppercase letter, say A, B, or C. So this matrix could be matrix A, and this would be on paper you would see that as a bold letter. It could be A, it could be B, it could be any letter really. That's the most common way that you will see a matrix identified. Now generally the elements of a matrix can typically be notated using the uppercase uh, bold letter of the matrix followed by two subscripts um, with two, two subscripts, two numbered subscripts. So in other words let's say we have a matrix A the elements generally are defined as A11, A12, A13, and on and on, A21, A22, and A23. So once again, this is the matrix identity. It's an, uh, the matrix is A, so this if this was matrix B, that would be a B or a C. Uh, this first subscript right here is the row that that element in it is in, and the second subscript is the column in which that element is in. So now let's jump real quick into some operations. Let's talk about the addition and subtraction of matrices. How do we add and subtract uh, matrices? addition and subtraction. Let's say uh, when we are given two matrices they may be added or subtracted only if they have the same order or dimension. So only if they are the same order, the same number of rows, and same number of columns. So in other words if we are given a 3 two by 2 matrix, any 3 2 by 2 matrix, the only matrices that can be added or subtracted from that specific 3 by 2 matrix has to be 3 by 2 as well. So adding and subtracting is done only to the same ordered matrices. So adding and subtracting is simply done by adding the corresponding elements of each matrix to create a new matrix of the same order. So say we're given matrix A and it's a 2 by 2 matrix and it has the elements 54, 45, 85, and 65. 
And let's say we're given matrix B, which has uh, the elements 21, 1, 5, and 34. And say we want A plus B. And so all we need to do is add the corresponding elements. So we want to add 54 plus 21. So that will be equal to um, 75. And we want to add 45 plus 1, which is 46. 85 plus 5 is 90. And 65 plus 34 is 99. So that would be our new uh, matrix, and we would call that C or any other letter except for A and B, since those are already defined. Now what about subtraction, A minus B? Well, again, we're going to get a matrix. It has to have the same order. A and B have to have the same order. And all we need to do is subtract the elements now, uh, each corresponding element. So it's 54 minus 21, which gives us 33. 45 minus 1, 44. 85 minus 5, 80. And 65 minus 34, which is 31. So now, now that's C or D or whatever letter you want it. Sorry about that. The order of the matrices when added is not important. So in other words, if we have A plus B, since order is not important, that is also equal to B plus A. So that's all I got now for you guys today. Just a quick definition of matrices. Uh, get you guys started uh, with a little addition and subtraction. And some following uh, reviews, I'll go into multiplication and all the other uh, operations that uh, go in matrix algebra. So for now, you guys take care tonight. Don't uh, hesitate to head on over to engineerintrainingexam.com. Uh, sign up for the free engineer and training exam um, preparation boot camp. Um, it's a free uh, handout that I send out to my subscribers to get you guys started on the on the right track in preparing for the exam. Um, other than that, you know, send me uh, contact, maybe uh, some feedback, uh, some some suggestions or whatnot, but. We'll be talking soon, guys. Take care. All right. Bye.